If you're short on time but want giant DIYs that wow and are easy to store, today I am delivering. I cannot wait to share these simple tricks with you. Today's video is brought to you in part by ThreadUp. I want everything to be so fast and easy. I made a $300 Garden Roads gingerbread man, but before I get to that, I've gotta share with you the secret of bobo balloons. Have you heard of these? They're basically like a beach ball material and they're about a dollar each. And holy cow, can you create some incredible DIYs combining it with dollar store products. And I don't think I've seen anything like this anywhere. Let me show you. Lots of bobo balloons come with light strands, but you can also get these from the dollar store. Also in the dollar 25 store, I found these really cool Christmas tree collars. These are for the mini tree and I decided to have a collection of ornaments and you're gonna see how I use all of these with the Bobo balloons. I also went to the stuffy section because honestly, you can find some really cute ones. Now you do have to weed through because some of them are a little bit scary looking, but if you find a few cute ones, you can also grab these little mini snowballs. And I had a really cool idea with these foam shapes. All of this is so inexpensive. First up, we're making huge wow Bobo snow globes. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know, including a secret hack. All right, so once you get your Bobo balloon, the first thing you wanna do is stretch it out. Remember, this feels like a beach ball. So these are not standard balloons that are gonna pop or deflate in one day. You wanna stretch opposing ends around the whole balloon and give it an initial blow up. You can do this with an air pump, I'll be sure to link mine below, or a hand air pump. The first DIY I'm doing is with these mini cutouts. Now these are made of foam. I took a needle and some fishing wine and threaded it through the top. And then I rolled my snowflake. You could do this with the Christmas tree, you could do this with the angel, and then I put it inside the balloon. The mouth on the balloons is really, really wide. Now, since I've pre-blown these up, this is gonna blow up really fast, and with the fishing line attached, the snowflake is gonna hang. I quickly deflated this because I wanted to flatten out my snowflake a little bit, and that's what I love about working with Bobo balloons. Because this is thicker plastic, you can inflate and deflate this as many times as you need to to get the objects inside just right. Reinflate your balloon, and then at the end, give it four twists, and then you're going to tie it in a knot. Leave me a comment down below. Would you hang a Christmas tree in here, the angel, or do you like the snowflake? You can see how the knot is tied at the top and you wanna make sure that no air is leaking out and I just pull this really tight. Then take your light strands and wrap it around and here's where it comes to life. You can use the dollar store ones or my bobo balloons, which were really cheap, actually came with this. I set this on top of my tree collar and then I took the top of a candle jar, also from the Dollar Tree, and set it on top to give it a realistic snow globe effect. And stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you how to stick stuff to animals inside, which I think this is the most fun hack, and how to save a ton on this giant gingerbread man. This is one of my favorites of the video. I'm so excited to share with you how I save $600, and I wanna share with you how I save on my wardrobe. I'm so excited. Today's video is brought to you in part by Thread Up. If you love thrifting and saving, you're gonna love it. And you get an additional 40% off of your first order. The beautiful pants I'm wearing in this video retail for $140 and I got them for just 37 bucks on thread up. These are by free people. I really, really like the wide leg. In fact, I'm kind of obsessed with a wide leg. This is how I get those updated fashion finds in my wardrobe, but I don't have to spend a lot to do it. And there's a special link down below where you can actually shop all of my favorites on thread up. I picked a ton that I really like. They make the shopping experience so easy because you can filter by size, by style, the type of garment that you're looking for. I love shopping thrift. And of course I'm loving my Lululemon gear, especially for around the house, for working out. It's so versatile because it's so nice. Do you see what I'm saying? Like these leggings are so beautiful and they retail for over a hundred dollars and I'm getting them for 60% off. But my favorite secret right now, at least to like layer my fashion, is I'll get a really nice athletic like cover like this and then this can just come off and I am ready to go work out, run to the gym. I really like this one, especially kind of like the beautiful crossbody on the back. I just love the back on this. I've never paid full price for Lululemon ever. I just wanna get ready for my mix and match moment, okay? These are the same Lululemon leggings. This top is from H&M, 15 bucks. And I love how I can just put these together. What I'm really looking for right now are kind of neutral items that are easy to pair. I just wanna show you guys how nice this is. It was brand new with tags. Everything is super 
comfortable. I am all about the comfort. I have to feel like I'm wearing butter. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you know, you know. Is that too much to ask? I mean, really. And speaking of smooth, there is this dress. This one is by Free People. And oh my gosh, it was on so much clearance. Like it was the main markdown, then an additional markdown. So I effectively got a $250 dress for 50 bucks. And this is so nice. Like it is butter smooth. And actually I often pair contrasting things. Let me show you. So I just grabbed my leather jacket and then I'm good to go for day night. My code is right here for that additional 40% off. And they allowed me to go through and pick out some of my favorite picks. So if you want to see how I shop, the types of things that I'm pulling and you can check it out, it makes it so easy to like sift through everything that you want and like, so you can find the exact garments that are right for you. Their return policy is also pretty easy too. So if something comes and you don't like it, you return as you normally would. I really hope that you love it as much as me. I cannot wait to see what you find. And I bet you can't wait to see how we just saved $600 on outdoor decor. Let's hit it. Hold on, little bear. You're cute and we're coming for you. First though, I want to show you some super easy giant lawn decor because this stuff is mind blowing. If you like giant decor, but not the giant price tag and you don't actually like DIYing, you're going to love this next trick. So Grandin Road and Pottery Barn sell these giant ornaments that are beautiful for hundreds of dollars. I am honestly obsessed with Amazon and so much decor. Did you know you can get almost identical giant inflatable ornaments from Amazon for like 10 bucks. What I really like about the inflatable ones is this is great for storage. These come in this really teeny tiny box and you can easily fold this up to store for next year and it's not gonna take up a bunch of room in your garage. Are we ready to blow these up? Obviously I could have used my air pump, but why do that? What I really like about these is it has a little plastic piece on the bottom and they actually come with the stakes and the rope. So this is really easy to put in your yard so they won't blow away. I also think this would look really great in some urns. I grabbed this LED light. I got this from Amazon. You get two in a pack, which is awesome. And the brightness is fantastic. These are so beautiful and giant in the yard. I love the classic story, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. We read it every year and Etsy has so many cute ideas. Did you know the base of a lot of those ideas comes straight from Amazon? You can get these very inexpensively. I'll be sure to put a link down below and then just customize them for your house. Check it out. I love to add faux snow to this as an extra embellishment. You can get this for just $1.25. I also wanted to customize this. You could use a vinyl decal cutter, but I found three of these Christmas words, again, for just $1.25 that I could add to the front. I love how they were metal. I put some matte Mod Podge on the side. I just wanted to give it that extra Grinchy flair and to the top of the ornament. This is perfect for a door knocker. It's great next to those giant bulbs in the yard. If you're enjoying this video, would you leave it a big thumbs up and a comment down below that helps it reach more people looking to craft on a budget just like you. Up next are these gingerbread men. I have wanted to make this for so long, but really had to rack my brain to figure out how I was gonna do it. And holy cow, this is so easy and fast. These are $300 on the Garden Roads website, but you can go to your hardware store and get metal landscaping edging. This stuff is awesome. I actually got mine online. I'll be sure to link it down below. And I really like how it mimics a cookie cutter. I went to the dollar store and I got a giant foam core board and I just free handed the shape of a gingerbread man. I undid the edging and I went around. Now at this point, my husband Charlie did not think this was going to work. Did you Charlie? <laughs> Charlie was a little bit worried about this, but it actually is pretty easy to use. We just used some clippers that we had at home. You could use the edge of a saw or you could get actual metal clippers. Just make sure that you're really careful when you're doing this. Then we took a drill bit and a dowel rod that I got for just 97 cents and I painted it black. We drilled a hole in the bottom and were able to feed the dowel rod up through it to help give the gingerbread man stability so he wouldn't fall over. I used a combination of E6000 so it would stick long term and super glue so it would stick right away. Then came the fun part. We staked this into the yard and added a giant bow to the front. This is so cool and was done for about $10. How do you think I did? Leave a comment down below. 
I still have a lot of leftover edging, so I'm really excited to make more of these because they were so easy. And we're not done. I'm about to wow you with some more dollar store DIYs. But first, I wanna go back to those Bobo gift ideas because you have a secret item that probably is in your kitchen you could use with these Bobo balloons. You can put anything inside and here's how. Cut a tiny hole in the balloon, just enough so you can slip your scissors through and cut along the outside edge. Now you wanna make this hole as small as you possibly can just big enough so you can fit whatever item you want to put inside. Here I'm using Mr. Stuffy. I mean, I feel like he needs a name by this point. I think we'll go ahead and call him Earl. But the point is, is that you can put anything inside to give as a gift, whether it's a stuffed animal or a small item. I also found these little bulbs at the $1.25 store. These look so cute inside. But now, how are we gonna seal the balloon? Well, I have a trick for you. You can buy sealers. I thought these were gonna be so expensive. Always get them on Amazon. Don't get them from the craft store because there they are really expensive. This is just $19.99 and you put it in for just a couple of seconds to seal up your balloon. But here's a hack. Who wants to buy a sealer? I mean, maybe if you're Catherine, you wanna buy a sealer because you're probably gonna be using this all season long. But if you don't, you can do the same exact steps with a favorite kitchen gadget. Now here I am feeding some fishing line through the top of this little reindeer. I thought he was really, really cute. Then I'm gonna take the fishing line and push it up through the end of the balloon. So we can do this just like we did the snowflake earlier in the video. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and blow up my balloon. Again, before you put anything inside, you wanna make sure to pre-blow up your balloon just to stretch it out. It gives you a little bit more room to work with when you're filling it. I put these mini snowballs that I got in a pack for $1.25. And what am I using here to seal this? Oh my gosh, a food storage sealer. Not the vacuum seal, friends. Don't hit the vacuum setting. Just hit the seal setting and it does virtually the same thing. Now with both the large sealer that you buy and the food sealer, you wanna do this in a couple different directions just to make sure that the balloon is completely sealed. And once it's done, you wanna make sure that it's completely cooled down. You only have to wait a minute or two. Then you wanna blow up your balloon and check for any holes. If air is coming out in any place, be sure to listen carefully. You can go ahead and you can seal it one more time. Remember, these can inflate and deflate as many times as you want. And we're gonna turn these into more snow globes. Again, I've got those little tree skirts and for this, I decided to use the white lights. There's something so charming about them and I like that these came with actual stickies so you can stick the battery pack right on one side. That's why I preferred the white light pack. I'll be sure to link down below the spot where you can find the Bobo balloons that come with the lights so you don't have to buy them separately. I added this little dollar store greenery to the top. Put fun gifts inside. This would also be really fun for Christmas morning if you want to put some dollar bills inside and surprise the recipient. And if you're not sure or confident in your ability to work with Bobo balloons, I'm going to show you an alternate trick I think you're really going to like. If you don't want to get Bobo balloons, head to the dollar store or any super center and you can get giant clear ornaments. These are so fun to work with and provide a similar effect. Today I'm going to be making a hot air balloon. I also grabbed these mini boxes from the dollar store and some greenery. You can get these at Walmart for right around 97 cents. Next. Okay. What was that for? He's so excited about this DIY. Again, you can find those string lights right at the dollar store. You also wanna to go to the party section and grab some of the balloon stakes. Now here's where this gets really fun. You're gonna feed those lights up through the center of the balloon stake and straight into the ornament. Just remove the top section. Then you're gonna stick some foam into your box and you can set this inside like a hot air balloon. I use some dollar store ribbon around the outside. This is so beautiful, would be an amazing centerpiece, flower arrangement, or even teacher gift idea if you wanted to stick a gift card inside. I love this one. So once you have your foam inside, this is going to help stabilize the balloon stake. And again, I have my lights woven up inside and you want to make sure that the battery pack edge is really easy to get to so you can turn this on and off. Also, you want to add your light strands to the inside of the ornament. You're just going to take off the top and this sets really, really nicely on top of the balloon stand. I added a bit of hot glue to mine to stabilize it. I thought that I could paint the outside of this or add a ribbon to it if I wanted to try to cover it up, but I sort of like how it looked like a hot air balloon. Instead, I opted to add some dollar store ribbon to the top. I hot glued it on in a crisscross shape. 
The little picks can be bent because they have wire insides. I also got these really beautiful wooden ornaments. You get a ton of them for about $3. I have tons of DIYs planned and I added this to the inside. How beautiful is this final look? And it was so inexpensive. Be sure to check out my picks at ThreadUp and use the code Catherine for 40% off of your first order. My sweet friend, if nobody has told you today, you are enough. I'll catch you soon.